Indy car race in Las Vegas turned deadly today when more than a dozen cars crashed in a fiery wreck. Drive, driver Dan Weldon died from his injuries that he suffered in the crash. The race abruptly ended after the crash and other drivers in the field drove five laps in Weldon's honor. The 33-year-old driver was this year's winner of the Indianapolis 500. He is the first Indy driver to die on the track since Ricky Paul Donner was killed in practice on the morning of the race day at Homestead Miami Speedway in 2006. Weldon leaves behind a wife and two small children. Earlier today, I was in Fort Lauderdale at Off the Hooker and interviewed two members of the band Ghost of Gloria. A very special e-entertainment report on our very own local South Florida band, Ghost of Gloria, signed with EMI Publishing. I caught up with the guys doing a live acoustic performance at Off the Hooker in Fort Lauderdale. There's a longer story to this, but we actually met Mark, our drummer, on MySpace. They met on Fling.com. Yeah. She was, her pictures and albums and things were such a pervasive part of that studio environment that it sort of just came up that, that her like presence was everywhere. So it was almost like a ghost haunting you everywhere you go in that and, studio. Uh, that was the only day that really the band was really involved. The other day was done at a warehouse and um, it was incredibly hot. And uh, it was done by another director, uh, Mark Sirota. The band has made its mark with their critically acclaimed album, Voices from the Red Room, and their hit music video, Fight. That fifth song, once we get to the five songs, and it goes to that, the goal is to get into the labels and start doing all of that, like hunting down all of the, the different opportunities. And, um, and hopefully we find a home at a nice place. A local success story. Kami Shall Love reporting to you live for E Entertainment News. Good night and rock on. President Barack Obama was among those honoring Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. today. Joined by his family, the president visited the new memorial for Dr. King before he spoke at the official dedication. The 300 foot tall sculpture features the civil rights leader emerging from a stone and was inspired by a line from his famous I have a dream speech. Mr. Obama said that Dr. King stirred our conscience and made our union more perfect. As tough as times may be, I know we will overcome. I know there are better days ahead. I know this because of the man towering over us. I know this because all he and his generation endured. We are here today in a country that dedicated a monument to that legacy. The memorial stands on the National Mall with those of Thomas Jefferson and Abraham Lincoln. Dr. King's statue is the first on the National Wall to honor black leader. All right, time to look at news from around the world in 90 seconds. Libyans began tearing down Muammar Gaddafi's main compound today. They used bulldozers to break down the home. The commander of the Revolutionary Brigade called the compound a symbol of tyranny. He said the area will be turned into a public park. The fortress-like compound was one of the main targets of NATO forces during the months leading up to Gaddafi's house turn. Bangkok's preparing for the worst as runoff from record flood levels threatens to swamp the Thai capital. Sandbags and barriers hastily put in place in front of homes and businesses are holding so far. The flooding is Thailand's worst in half a century. Close to 3,000 people have died. And that's what's happening around the world. This story leads us to tonight's CSB Pulse Poll. Do you think Congress should pass President Obama's proposed jobs bill? Let us know by logging on to WCSB.com and vote in tonight's Pulse Poll. A remembrance was held today for the victims of last Wednesday's salon shootings in California. Family, friends, and co-workers gathered at a Seal Beach church to offer prayers and express their grief. People also left flowers and signs at a memorial outside the salon. Eight people were killed by a gunman who entered that hair salon and began shooting. Police in Indiana and Ohio were led on a 70-mile long chase this morning, and it wasn't a hardened criminal at the wheel. Instead, they were trying to keep up with a 16-year-old girl in a pickup truck. The chase began in Indiana, 
Police say she took a few freeways, at times stopping 90 miles an hour before coming to a stop in Western Ohio. Police say the chase started when a deputy tried to pull the girl over for speeding. Mechanical problems forced the girl to stop. Freaks come out at night in Fort Myers. <laughs> It was the annual ZombieCon event with thousands of real-life humans dressing up as lifeless zombies. Take a look. Costumes ranging from Popeye and Bluto as if they were cut up again. For one couple, though, they used the annual event to tie the knot. We both met at ZombieCon and ever since we've been together ever since then. So we decided what, what better for a relationship than to get married where we met at. We just uh, put our heads together and just kind of brainstormed on it. It was both of our ideas. The event also featured a zombie walk contest and even zombie workshops. I can only wonder. Imagine what a zombie workshop is all about. I don't want to know. It's a great weekend if you're thinking about heading out to the South Florida Fair. Dress appropriately, it's going to be a hot one. Here's Chrissy Werner with your weather forecast. Thank you, Car Michelle. Good evening. Great news for this week. We'll be able to get rid of that fog and haze starting tomorrow as our wind flow has shifted moving off the ocean. This will bring us an east to west wind and because of that easterly onshore wind, you'll notice a little bit of humidity in the air. Temperatures will be running about 4 to 5 degrees warmer than what we woke up to last week, which makes it a perfect opportunity to bust out your flip-flops and shorts again and head out to the South Florida Fair. It's going to be a beautiful week for West Palm. Your sunrise tomorrow will officially be at 638 and we'll be seeing a lot of that sun this week. All week we have clear skies with a low of 71 degrees and the highest being 82 degrees. It'll be a dry week as well for all of South Florida. No rainfall is expected this week as far north as Lake Okeechobee all the way through Key West. Keep in mind that there's a high pressure system still in place coming through Kentucky through the Carolinas that may loop around and go through the east side of Florida. Nothing to be concerned about, but we will expect heavy rain next week. Now if you decide to skip the fair and take the boat out or hit the beach, here's your marine forecast. If you're doing any boating this weekend, there are no advisories. It's going to be a beautiful day on the water. Seas are 1 to 2 feet and the wind is 8 to 10 knots. But if you do decide to stay on land and hit the beach instead, be advised that there are very strong rip currents on shore. Sunday through Saturday, expect very warm weather and lots of sunshine. Well, downtown West Palm Beach went to the docks today. Hundreds of West Palm Beach's four-legged friends took over Clematis for the first annual pub crawl. For West Palm Beach's cutest residents, it was a tail wagging good time. And for their two-legged companions, it was a chance to give back to the ones who had given them so much love. Maybe man's best friend. Costume competition doggies and their owners sported their finest fashions and wore their hearts on their sleeves, all in an effort to raise money for Paws to Help. She's a fantastic organization. The money they raised, 100% goes back to investing in helping the animals. If you weren't able to make it out to the pub crawl and you still want to help, there's another big event in the works in the next few months. Well, that does it for your nightly news. From everyone here at CSB 9 News, I'm Car Michelle. Good night.